So we've seen that a line segment is just a collection of all the points between two endpoints such that the paths that these points form together is the shortest possible way to move from one endpoint to another. So I hope you remember this. So now let's take a look at how we represent this line segment in this software. So we take one point here and we connect it to another point. Now you can see that the endpoints are highlighted. Now ideally the pure geometrical line segment does not have a width. Uh, the same thing we had discussed for a point which appears to have some size but the idea of a point does not really have a size. Similarly here this segment that you see is a thin straight line but the points endpoints are highlighted it's just convenient to label them however the just remember that the entire segment is a collection of all of these points but i'll get the segment back to a thin line segment now the ideal line segment in geometry does not even have a width so this is just a representation of this idea of a segment now what you see here is that the endpoints are labeled as you know that points are labeled with a capital letter now if we had more such segments then we would need a way to obviously address them or identify them so it's easier to label or name these segments basis these endpoints because uh, it's just convenient that way so if we were to name this particular segment that we see here then we have these two endpoints so let me show you all the ways in which we can name a segment one is that we say segment kl but when we write or label it we put this little miniature segment above it we can, it, it helps us skip the word segment now one important thing is that as you know that the segment is a collection of points so you see that okay let me actually remove the label here because i want this point to represent all the points that are between these two endpoints so you see that i can move from l to k and then k to l so even while naming my line segment i can do the same thing whether it's k to l or l to k along with this little symbol of a segment above it Another way to name these segments would be, let me show you, is that if I select all of these segments and I name them, you see that these lowercase letters have appeared. Now another way alternatively to name these segments is using lowercase letters like F or maybe L or maybe K or maybe G and the last one would be again these small case letters along with a subscript number so let's say L1, L2 etc. Okay now let's move on to seeing a few real life examples so that we can end our little discussion on segments. So you see that here we have a pencil it looks pretty much like a line segment and Let's move on to another example of a sugarcane stem or maybe even a math stick or maybe if you see from a height even a train, a long train would look like a line segment. Uh, importantly, you see that edges here appear like segments of this white space or whether it's the edges of this phone here. And uh, moving on, you'll see most of the edges of shapes are line segments and in fact, uh, flat surface if we form shapes on them then all of the sides are line segments which we'll see later on but you see this entire building here in itself looks like a line segment and even specifically the edge here also looks like a line segment so i hope that's pretty clear